uh, let's add to our room context a function uh, that will send message to our server. This function will have one argument and here we will create a message data if it's a number so let's change our iMessage type um, number and author will be the ID and again we have to change that and make this not required let's emit a new event the name of event will be send message and we will pass a room ID and our message data and this send message we will add to our context values so now we can just use it in the chat input and here in our form on submit we can just we can just pass our message to our context function and after we send our message we will uh, reset the value to be an empty string so after our user clicks on the send button a uh, message uh, gets sent to the server and input gets cleared and now let's just change it here because we made the number yeah and yeah now we send it to the server and we need to handle it there let's open our server room file and let's create another event listener and we need to type our message type here as well and let's console log our message let's listen to send message event okay so let's check now if we type something and send it should be printed here yeah it works we want to uh, emit uh, to everyone in this room this message and we will we will send an event add message and just send a message to everyone in this room and let's listen to this event on our client now and we also will just um, message we will also just to log this message in the console to make sure that we get it and here we will unsubscribe from 
our event listener and now let's check if it works oh yeah it wants a type it will be again i message type so let's test we will send a message here and we should get it here but we are not getting it i think problem is here uh, you can see we create a new room uh, only when we click the button create new room but when we join uh, via link uh, there is no uh, this room in the room object and this code just does not work and our user just doesn't join to the room so let's fix it uh, let's do the following if there is no room uh, in our uh, room object we will create it and then we will do all these things so now let's check again let's send a message we probably need to reconnect and now let's send a message again okay. And yes, we got it because now our user joined the room. Um, perfect. So now when we successfully exchange messages between our uh, client and server and even send it to other peers, uh, let's um, save them. Uh, first, we will save them in on server. So uh, if user just joined to the chat, we could uh, send him all the messages from uh, before, all the history. So let's implement it. Uh, same way as we did with rooms. Let's just create um, chats. And this will be again record. But here instead of the string, it will be array of messages. And uh, now when we get... Um, a new message we will save it there um, but this this will work only if we already created this chat and if not we will create it And add there the first message okay so now we can also add when user joins the room we can just send him the messages from this room and let's listen to this in our room context as well for now I just want to console log it uh, so let's create a couple of messages here and now when we rejoin it If we rejoin, we get our messages from the server. Uh, so yeah, to send it to only the one peer, not the room, uh, we don't need this two. We just do socket emit and it will uh, send the message to only one peer. Uh, and now we have to handle these messages on our client. We need to create a reducer for chat and save all the messages there and display them in our chat in the messages list. So the next step is to create a reducer to handle all these messages on the client and to show them to our users. To create a reducer, it will be quite the same as we did with peer reducer, um, but let's um, do a little bit of uh, refactoring let's create a new folder 
reducers and we will move our peer reducer there and we'll update imports and now uh, in this reducers folder we will also create a chat actions and chat reducer and we can basically copy this uh, and just replace peer with message and we will also have add history and here we will have an action add message action and we'll just do have our message yeah Androkaris wants to say something Androkaris no? and yeah here it will be a um, add message and here just message and here will be add history history so this is uh, an action for the single message and this one is for the entire chat history and in our chat reducer again uh, we can just copy our peer reducer and change it um, our chat state will be an object and this object will have messages and it will be an array of messages and will also has an, uh, some other properties that I will tell you later about them and here chat action will be add message and payload will be a message and another one will be uh, an add history and payload will be history here we add a new message and here we will just add the entire history and here it is our reducer and now we will uh, call this reducer in our room context and we will have to uh, define the initial state empty array so why our chat reducer ah it's we forgot we forgot to rename it so now we can import chat reducer and somehow it is not happy oh I see so it was an error in the type of our add history action it should be an array of i messages here we can just use this chat dispatch together with actions and when we uh, get new message we will just call 
add message action and add the message but without uh, an object it's just the message and let's yeah add message action uh, so now we dispatch a message and it will be added to the um, our to our reducer and here we will just add it to context to expose it to our components and second thing I want to do is you remember we also send the history and this will be um, get messages event we will listen to it here in room context we already listened to it but we need to add a function for it as well but instead of the console log we will dispatch a history and I forgot to rename it so now we have this add history action and we dispatch messages and we listen to it here and the last thing we have to do is to use our chat reducer instead of the uh, static data in our chat so here We are getting chat from our use reducer. Oh no, not use reducer, use context. Room context. And here we add this chat messages map. And here it wants a type. Okay, we have a type and we get a context and we get rid of this array now let's try okay it says can't find in producer i guess it's because we refactored it it's in room t6 okay this should be in reducers yes now it's fine And we have one message in our room history and let's send more so we get our peer gets the message but we are not adding it to uh, our reducer uh, when peer sends it so let's fix it here in uh, in room context send message message data and yeah we just call the same dispatch here for our message and let's check now and you can see uh, that for different uh, authors our uh, messages are uh, styled differently so if user sent message himself it will be on the right side if he got it from another peer it will be on the left side so it works so it's working but what is left now is um, this button uh, is basically not doing anything and what I wanted to do is to hide and show our chat when we uh, click it 
Uh, so let's add a, another property to our reducer. Property will be uh, is chat open. By default, this property will be false. And we need another action to open the chat or just toggle the chat. And type will be toggle chat. So we're going to return an object with our type and the payload will be is open. And in our chat reducer We will just switch this property and let's uh, add our new action to our types. And in room context, uh, again, we add a new method. And we will just set it to the opposite value and we will expose it to our context and now in the room uh, page we can access this method to go chat and instead of share screen just to, uh, to put it here to the chat button and Here we will also get data from our chat reducer and if chat open then we will render it. Okay, something is wrong here. Oh. Yeah. So now, by default, we don't see chat, but when we click on the button, we can open it. So, uh, in the next video, we will do some improvements for in our application. We won't make uh, big new features, we will just work on uh, usability and user experience of our chat and sharing uh, and we will maybe do some refactor, that's my plan. So stay tuned and subscribe on my channel.